Guys, breaking news. Lux Bryce becoming free? Oh my goodness. Ow. All right, so welcome back to today's video. So I noticed that the official Welcome to Bloxburg YouTube, this is different this time, uh, released an actual video title is Bloxburg Becoming Free. And I actually wanted to like react to it and like see what it's all about. Watching this video, breaking it down, and also just talking about you know the pros and cons because there's a lot of it's very controversial you know like this topic very controversial i'm actually probably going to skim around it i'll be putting this um link in the description if you guys want to watch it for yourselves welcome to Bloxburg official video i have the video pulled up here i'm just gonna like you know put it right here <gasps> this is by the way our community manager lamari exciting get asked the most across all of our social media platforms your feedback and suggestions are very important to us and we have heard your questions about best updates and what is on the horizon every update Update, every addition is a piece of a puzzle that will lead us to a better Voxburg experience. So we thought it was time to explain our plans and how the development process and the updates are driving us towards our main goal, going free to play. Last year's updates were a preparation for what's to come in Voxburg. Some of the examples are updating some of the buildings in town to prepare for a future map update, reworking the athletic skill as a bigger effort to revamp all the in-game skills, Introducing a new burger job and revamping our job system, creating the groundwork for future job reworks, and adding granular permissions and family tree, showing our commitment to make the roleplay experience more immersive. Those are just a few of the examples on how each change was a strategic step forward into improving the game. Now it's time for future plans! We are happy to announce we are giving our map a new look. Expanding its size and allowing for future expansions oh, and uh, future buildings in town. Uh, we are also adding an in-game pre-built house catalog that will allow you to have your dream house with a single click. Bloxburg is also getting a glow up, making the game more polished, aesthetic and easier to navigate. There will also be an in-game tutorial to improve the experience of new players and give them some guidance. We are also improving our analytic tools, allowing us to better serve and understand our diverse player base, fixing and addressing bugs, as we know how much that can impact your experience with Bloxburg, and making room for more inclusivity. As we want everyone to dive into Bloxburg, no matter where they're from, we are fully supporting a few more languages in the future, such as Latin Spanish, Brazilian Portuguese, Hindi, Simplified Chinese, German, and French, slowly expanding to soon make Bloxburg a global party. We love to add every single one of your suggestions into Bloxburg. Game development is a complex process that requires time and prioritization. While we had to carefully plan our path into going free to play, we are closer than ever into realizing this milestone. Rest assured that we also know your concerns about this huge move, and we have been working to not only address them internally, but also with Roblox, as they have really improved their ways of tracking and punishing exploiters and bots. Additionally, for those who have purchased the game before it goes free to play, and we are going to announce those later down the line, but exclusive rewards await for you. Okay, wow, lots of information. They pretty much did confirm that Bloxburg is going to become a free game in the future. Um, there's some things though that they need to work on before making it free to play because, um, you know, most games like Brookhaven, um, you know, Livetopia, all of those roleplay town games, they have lots of, they have lots of roleplay elements and um, just like they have bigger like towns and cities and stuff. And Bloxburg definitely is one of those games where roleplaying is kind of, kind of limited because there's not too many places to explore so before Bloxburg becomes like a free game they are currently working on like making sure that it's going to keep people playing it right now because right now the town is not very big um a lot of the some jobs are outdated and some skills are not even functional there are a few functional skills like gardening and cooking and stuff maybe even music they wanted to make sure it's free to play ready because there's one thing with making a game free but also keeping people playing the game so I completely understand where they're coming from and big respect though because they want to make sure the game is actually like more polished and more updated than right now for when people start the game. They also mentioned they were going to add a tutorial. So I'm actually excited to see what that's going to be like. Um, I don't know if it's going to be exclusively so like people who join for the first time or maybe there's going to be like something in the main menu that gives you like some tips and stuff but i'm excited to see what that's going to include um just for the new people to kind of get an idea of what this game's about and 
all of that. So that's pretty exciting. They're slowly but surely updating more of this game. We saw like, of course, from the past updates like Bloxburger and the gym update, they're working on buildings, they're working on um, improving the job system. And I will say this update here, the Bloxburger update was one of my most favorite updates in a while because not only did it bring like a fun job to the game, it pretty much revamped the overall job system so that every job is actually like paying equally pretty much gives you more options to try out the other job people are only doing one job like because it makes sense though why would you do the other jobs that pay less when pizza delivery was like okay it's kind of arguable like but yeah pizza delivery was by far the most popular job because it did pay very well for like not as much effort so i'm really glad they updated that they have been showing us like a taste of the skills revamp as well so each level you you gain there's always a new reward which is like either money there's furniture objects that you unlock through build mode um even block bucks when you actually end up finishing i believe the whole like the whole skill like they give you 350 block bucks for completing athletic skill they actually give you a reason i'm really glad that they're giving us reasons to work for these things like to skill up to come back to the game to actually level these things up that's kind of like the main thing that i really want for this game is something to work for other than just money and building and all of that i want other little things as well to work for like yeah skills skills are one of the fun things and maybe in the future they'll have like daily quests or something like that they have been kind of updating this game to make it free to play so that people can actually stay around stick around because that's really important thing to game devs and just games in general is people staying to play the game rather than just going in once and leaving because right now i feel like that's kind of most of us right now it's just we go in and do something and leave i don't know everyone's different who knows maybe you're building something for a very long time yeah i completely agree and i give them a lot of respect for trying to make sure the game is like actually new player friendly and honestly yeah make the town a little bit more updated and beautiful before the free players can get in right might as well it might be a little while until they actually pull the trigger to do that so there's that for those people who are asking for a refund like i want my 25 robux back if you think about it the game is like 25 cents or like 31 cents i think the actual conversion in like us dollars is 31 cents so it's literally less than a dollar this game is less than two quarters roblox accessories are more expensive than a game i will say it's a big game it's very much worth the 25 cents that you spent on it and you got early access before other people could get into the game that's kind of another thing do not be upset they're actually rewarding people who you know played the game before it became free so no worries about that once again it's like 25 to 31 cents somewhere around that it is super cheap think about it your clothes and your hair cost more than this game my shirt costs more than this game because roblox also takes a good percentage of the actual money that was spent to play this game as well so yeah so yeah, that's pretty much what Bloxburg is up to right now. They will become free in the future, but they're just working on things. But yeah, let's talk about the pros and cons of Bloxburg becoming free. So let's talk about the negatives first. So the number one thing people are worried about is the bots. There's going to be like scammers, trolls. That's definitely to be expected, but there were already like cheaters in this game. If you think about it, you, if you guys remember, there was a Bloxburg ban wave that happened a while ago where people glitched in money and started donating to people and then those people got banned and whatnot if you think about it cheating was already a thing in this game it's nothing new we've we haven't seen before yeah there was already cheaters um there's already honestly there's already weird people in this game like people who started drama people who would like try to break into your house people who trolled in general that's already a thing that's why people there's so many people in the public servers who have a sign that says do not trespass or you'll be blocked from my plot just block people you know like if there's a weirdo going onto your plot and you don't like that just block them that's why that feature exists so you're safe and you don't have to worry about them there's also a block feature on like actual like the blocks brick playlist you just click on somebody and i think you just block them from there so one way to combat weird people and like roles and whatnot once again we've already dealt with cheaters we've already dealt with exploiters and honestly i do kind of worry about the people who try to like post spammy like scam links hopefully um nothing crazy comes from that i mean i completely understand though i think my problem was the bots that was my only like concern was there's gonna be so many of them as time passes though i think we'll get used to it and we'll just be like oh yeah that's it's whatever okay i think that was the only major concern i did talk about a lot of different types of players that we would probably see okay so that's that's the number one concern so let's talk about the pros i guess of this obviously the number one pro of blocks for being free is that everyone has access to it there's going to be a lot more people playing this game now um, a lot of people would like to complain that Bloxburg is a dead game because it's early access and paid once again i think for sure once the game becomes free there's going to be a 
pretty big increase in players. I don't know how big it's going to actually get. I don't know if we're going to see like millions or anything like that. I would say like 500,000 or something like that. Maybe 400 to 500,000 is what I'm seeing, but it could be a lot more than that or it could be a lot less. I never truly know how many players are going to be actually coming into here. But once again, since it's going to be free, so many more people are going to have access to it. Get to see what the game's all about, you know? It's actually fun for other people to get a taste of what Bloxburg is like. There's people who trash the game who've never played it before, so they can finally go in and see it for it themselves. Honestly, that's just like the number one thing is just the player count will go up for sure. For sure. More role players, more builders, more potential for builders and role players. Okay, and another thing I want to talk about, this is a pretty like a deep thing. Like I'm thinking deep about this, like with more people playing, there's going to be different types of Roblox players that try out Bloxburg, you know, they could be into shooting games, action games, horror games, um, like someone who's into shooting games could, you know, stumble upon Bloxburg and actually grow a love for like creative stuff playing. It's, it's also building as well. And I myself, I was never a builder. Okay. I was always like, before I started Bloxburg, I played the Sims and Sims always has pre-made houses. So I would always use those and just decorate with furniture. Um, playing Bloxburg made me want to like have a nicer house so I tried to learn how to build and get a little bit better at it and I'm still definitely not the best builder but I definitely improved and I grew a love for building and like you know all of that so it's and also if there's a person who's mainly into role playing and want to like they're like oh I want to want a nice house to live in so maybe I'll try to build one you know role players could turn into builders you know like they could grow to love building same thing with builders who could love role playing I have no idea yeah, I just think it's beautiful the way things can be like that. I want to learn how to decorate more. Okay, another pro I wanted to talk about. So you know how in Bloxburg we have neighborhoods pretty much as like private servers in this game? So Roblox doesn't support private servers for games that are pay to play, paid access games. So Bloxburg is not eligible to have actual like private servers from Roblox. So Bloxburg pretty much worked around that by making neighborhoods to pay for that and go into your own like server i wonder if they're going to make it cost money still maybe i have no idea how that's going to work out especially since in your own server you have all these neighborhood settings i don't think it's going to be a problem to have neighborhood settings in like actual roblox private servers maybe still make it paid i have no idea it'd be pretty cool to have free private servers especially for those who are super worried about you know weirdos in the public servers have your own free private server i think that would be one of the best things i guess I'm curious about that i am genuinely wondering what they're going to do with neighborhoods another pro as well since the game is going to be free and you do have to pay for the actual game passes i'm i'm thinking they're definitely going to make more money right they're going to make more robux from the players who are dedicated and want to get multiple floors who want to get like advanced placement for sure or anything like that i also see that as a pro for Bloxburg itself it definitely will make more money from like free players wanting to more with the game by buying the game pass overall that is um pretty much like the only pros and cons i have observed so far i think i've addressed the major ones i think there's definitely more pros and cons that i haven't talked about but i just like to talk i just like to talk about the general ones that i see all the time once again Bloxburg is still working to become free to play they're still working on things they're going to be updating more just so new player friendly that way people can actually stick around instead of just hopping in the game and leaving they acknowledge that they have a lot more to work on before becoming free to play that's nice and they're adding more accessibility for languages they uh, mari talked about adding more translations more people around the world can actually play this game because they can you know, they can read all the menus and whatnot i think that's amazing uh, we definitely need more inclusivity and diversity with the player base so adding more translations for sure is a big plus i love that but i'm really glad that they made this video like they made that video to like address these things and tell us themselves like you know connect the community about their plans and you know how they're going to do these things so once again i'll be putting their like video in the description it's definitely worth watching it's only three minutes if anybody mad about the 25 robux you'll be getting rewarded with something exclusive not sure what it's going to be i'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be something cool though um what are your guys' thoughts and opinions on this i know there's going to be some mixed ones so here's my opinion on this thing i really didn't mind what happened because if the game is free that's great more people could play um, but if it stayed pay to play, like paid access, that would have been fine too, because we're already in that phase. Like we're already dealing with that. So I honestly couldn't care any less. I don't mind. I honestly don't mind what happens if the game is free or not. So that's, that's kind of my answer. But once again, leave your comments down below on what you think. But thanks for watching. And I just wanted to keep you guys updated on that. It's crazy news though. Wild news. They pretty much did say it's going to be free in the future. That's all. Okay. Bye.